Hey kids, let's learn about different types of sentences now. And after that, don't forget to attempt the activities. The sentence A group of words that makes a complete sense or expresses a complete thought is called a sentence. Note, each sentence begins with a capital letter. Each sentence ends with a full stop. Kinds of sentences Sentences are of four kinds. Declarative or assertive sentences. Interrogative sentences. Imperative sentences. Exclamatory sentences. Declarative or assertive sentence. A sentence that simply affirms or denies something. Interrogative sentence. A sentence that asks a question. Imperative sentence. A sentence that expresses a command, advice, request or a prohibition. Exclamatory sentence. A sentence that expresses strong feeling. Declarative or assertive sentences. A sentence that makes, describes thing or reports event is called a declarative or assertive sentence. Look at the following sentences. Examples. I am going to the school. We have a party in the evening. He is going to the market. Interrogative sentences A sentence that asks a question is called an interrogative sentence. Look at the following sentences. Examples What is your name? Where do you live? How many students have attended the class today? Who is knocking at the door? Have you seen the movie Matrix? Imperative sentences A sentence that expresses a command or an entreaty is called an imperative sentence. Look at the following sentences. Examples Shut the door Open the door please Tom, hurry up. Give me a cup of coffee, please. Children, stop talking. Exclamatory sentences. Sentences that express a certain feeling of joy, sorrow, pity, contempt, admiration, surprise, or anger etc. is called exclamatory sentence. Look at the following sentences. Examples What a shot! How lucky you are! What a beauty! Oh, it's too big! Look at the following examples. Honesty is the best policy. In the above sentence, a fact is told, so it's an assertive sentence. Hooray! We have won the match. The above sentence expresses a feeling of joy. It's an exclamatory sentence. Paris is the capital of France. The above sentences state a fact. So, it's an assertive sentence. The students went to New York on a trip. The above sentence describes an event. It's an assertive sentence. Please leave this place. The above sentence expresses an entreaty, that is appeal. 
It's an imperative sentence. David is studying in class 4. The above sentence describes a report and states a fact. It's an assertive sentence. The cow has four legs. The above sentence describes a thing. It's an assertive sentence. The sun rises in the east. The above sentence states a fact. It's an assertive sentence. Please bring me a glass of water. The above sentence expresses a request. It's an imperative sentence. Do not tease the animals. The above sentence expresses an order. It's an imperative sentence. Always speak the truth. The above sentence expresses an advice. It's an imperative sentence. Alas, the young man died last night. The above sentence expresses the feeling of sorrow. It's an exclamatory sentence. How silly of him! The above sentence expresses the feeling of contempt. It's an exclamatory sentence. What a beautiful flower! The above sentence expresses the feeling of admiration. It's an exclamatory sentence. The Subject Verb Agreement Students, by now you have learned that a sentence makes complete sense when the words are put in a definite order. The words may be noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, interjection and conjunction. In a sentence, there may be one or more dependent or connected clauses. There must be an independent clause. While writing a sentence, you must ensure that the verb must agree with the subject in number and person both. A singular subject must take a singular verb and a plural subject must take a plural verb. Look at the following sentences. A dog is a faithful animal. A dog is the singular subject. It must take singular verb is. I am reading a book. I is the singular subject. It must take singular verb am.
Her mother is a teacher. Her mother is the singular subject. It must take singular verb is. He is buying a house. He is the singular subject. It must take singular verb is. The cows are grazing in the fields. Cows is the plural subject. It must take plural verb are. You do not have a pencil. You is the plural subject. It must take plural verb do. Note. You always take a plural verb. You are writing a letter to your father. You is always treated as a plural subject. It must take plural verb are. My friends are sending money to me next week. My friends is the plural subject. It must take plural verb are. Note, in all the above sentences, subject is plural. So, the verb used in the sentences is plural. Two or more singular nouns or pronouns joined by and take the plural verb such as. Rolly and George are brothers. Mike, Rolly, George are singular nouns and are joined by and. The sentence must take a plural verb. Mickey and Jenny are playing together. Mickey and Jenny are singular nouns and are joined by and. The sentence must take a plural verb. The following pronouns take singular verbs. Either, neither, each, everybody, anybody, none, nobody, someone, no one. Somebody, one. Look at the following sentences. Each of the boys was ready. None of the pens is mine. One of these books belongs to me. Everybody wants to be happy. Neither of the boys is my friend. Everybody does this work. Some nouns which are plural in form but singular in meaning take a singular verb such as economics, wages, mathematics, billiards, politics, the West Indies. Look at the following sentences. Economics is a paying subject. The wages of sin is death. Mathematics is a difficult subject. Billiards is my favorite game. Politics is an interesting subject. The West Indies has a strong cricket team. A collective noun takes a singular verb as the collection is taken as a whole and a plural verb when we think of its members individually such as The committee has agreed to the proposal. 
committee is a collective noun and has been taken as a whole therefore a singular verb has is used the parliament is in session parliament is a collective noun and has been taken as a whole therefore a singular verb is is used the noun noun is the name of a person like john animal like dog place like india and thing like ball kinds of noun There are different types of noun proper noun common noun collective noun abstract noun and material noun proper noun proper noun is the name of a particular person animal place or a thing look at the following proper nouns mary name of this girl person is mary tommy name of this dog animal is tommy london name of this city place is london bible name of this book thing is bible names of particular persons mac pat nancy abraham lincoln names of particular animals pussy cat tommy dog chetak horse Chandni cow Names of particular places United States Russia Great Britain India Names of proper things Titan watch HP computer Ford car Did you know that the following are also proper nouns Months of a year January February March April May June July August September October November December Monuments and important buildings National Stadium Taj Mahal Petronas Towers 
White House Secretariat Great Wall of China Statue of Liberty Leaning Tower of Pisa Various religions of the world Christianity Islam Hinduism Buddhism Sikhism Jainism Natural Objects Sun Earth Moon Pole Star Pacific Ocean Indian Ocean North America Continent Asia Continent Mount Everest River Ganga River Yamuna River Ramaputra Common Noun A common noun is a name given to any person, place, animal or thing. Look at the following common nouns. Girl This is a common noun as girl can be anyone without being specific name. Dog This is a common noun as dog can be any dog without specific name. City This is a common noun as city can be any city without being specific name. Father This is a common noun as father can be anyone without being specific name. When you go to school, you find the following things in your classroom. Do you know these are also common nouns? blackboard chart duster map chair chalk clock Desk Table Register The following are some fruits and vegetables. Do you know these are also common nouns? For example, Fruits Banana Grapes Orange Cherry and sugarcane. Vegetables Onion, Cabbage, Carrot, Radish, Potato. The following are the parts of the body. Do you know these are also common nouns? For example, Ankle Cheek Chin Toe Shoulder The following are the names of the relations. Do you know these are also common nouns such as Aunt Uncle 
grandfather, grandmother, sister, cousin, niece, nephew, sister-in-law, brother-in-law. Now let us learn about the dresses we wear. These are also common nouns. Pant Shorts Socks Turban Overcoat Coat Shirt Skirt How can you differentiate between proper noun and common noun? If you don't know the name of this girl, you shall call her as girl. It would then become a common noun. Common noun girl, proper noun Linda. If you know the name of this girl, you shall call her as Linda. It would then become a proper noun. If you don't know the name of this dog, you shall call him a dog. It would become a common noun. Common noun dog, proper noun Tyson. If you know the name of this dog, you shall call him as Tyson. It would then become a proper noun. If you don't know the name of this city, you shall call this as city. It would become a common noun. Common noun city. Proper noun Delhi. If you know the name of this city, you shall call this as Delhi. Collective noun A collective noun is the name of a collection or group of persons or things taken as a whole. Look at the following examples. A bunch A group of keys, grapes, etc. A class, a collection of students. A herd, group of elephants, sheep, etc. A library, a collection of books. A fleet, a collection of ships. A crowd, a group of people, an army, a group of soldiers, a cluster, a group of herbs, shrubs, trees, etc. Abstract noun An abstract noun is the word used to denote some quality, state or action quality, like beauty, greatness, truths. State, like happiness, boyhood, friendship. Action, like thought, flight, behavior. Quality, honesty, wisdom, kindness, bravery. Look at the following sentences. The woodcutter was rewarded for his honesty. King Albert is known for his wisdom. We should show kindness to animals and birds. 
everyone is attracted towards the brightness of gold and silver. Richard was awarded for his bravery on the Republic Day. The above sentences denote quality of honesty, wisdom, kindness, brightness and bravery respectively. State Like slavery, death, youth, poverty, childhood. Look at the following sentences. Slavery is a curse to humanity. Death is the natural end of man. Youth is the prime of life. Childhood is the best period in a man's life. The above sentences denote state of slavery, death, youth, poverty and childhood respectively. Action like theft, anger, laughter, life and sight. Look at the following sentences. The thief has been caught for a theft by the police. We should control our anger for peace of mind. Laughter is the best medicine. Life is a mixture of joys and sorrows. Sight of sunrise is a delightful experience. The above sentences denote action of theft, anger, laughter, life and sight respectively. Material Noun A material noun is the name given to a substance or matter of which things are made. Material nouns are not counted. Like sugar, this can be weighed. Wheat, this can be weighed. Wool. This can be weighed. Gold. This can be weighed. String. This can be measured. Cloth. This can be measured.
the noun gender. We find around us living beings of different sex. Some are male and some are female. This difference of sex in living beings is called gender. Look at the following male and female beings. Male like sun, boy, he goat, female like daughter, girl and she goat. Masculine gender. The noun that denotes male are masculine gender, such as boy, father, king, horse, dog, tiger, bull, etc. Feminine gender. The nouns that denote women or female animals are said to be of feminine gender, such as girl, mother. Queen, mare, and cow, etc. Common gender The names of things that denote either the masculine or the feminine are said to be of common gender, such as baby, student, thief, servant, child, sheep, etc. Neuter gender. The nouns that denote lifeless objects are said to be of neuter gender. These are neither male nor female, such as book, chair, school, stone, doll and room, etc. The noun number. There are two kinds of number. Singular number, plural number. A noun that denotes one person or thing is said to be in singular number, such as book, chair, girl, horse, etc. Plural number. A noun that denotes more than one person or thing, it is called plural number, such as books, chairs, girls and horses, etc. Come on! All of you are intelligent kids. Did I use any adjective here? Yes, intelligent is the adjective. Now let's learn more about adjectives now. The adjective. A word used to describe a noun or a pronoun or add to its meaning. Kinds of adjectives. There are kinds of adjectives adjective of quality adjective of quantity adjective of number interrogative adjective demonstrative adjective exclamatory adjective out of these six kinds of adjectives we will learn the following in detail adjective of quality Adjective of quantity Adjective of number Adjective of quality A word used to describe or point out the quality of a person, place or a thing is called an adjective of quality. Look at the following sentences. Ram is an intelligent boy. Intelligent is an adjective here. It is used with a noun boy to describe his quality. Therefore, intelligent is the adjective of quality. Twin Towers is a tall building. Tall is an adjective here. It is used with a noun building to describe its quality. Therefore, tall is the adjective of quality. 
Mary has a beautiful doll. Beautiful is an adjective here. It is used with the noun doll to describe its quality. Therefore, beautiful is the adjective of quality. Adjective of quantity. A word with a noun to describe or point out the quantity of a thing is called an adjective of quantity. Look at the following sentences. There is some milk in the can. Some is an adjective here. It is used with a noun milk to describe its quantity. Therefore, sum is the adjective of quantity. There is little water in the well. Little is an adjective here. It is used with the noun water to describe its quantity. Therefore, little is the adjective of quantity. Alec has enough courage to face the situation. Enough is an adjective here. It is used with the noun courage to describe its quantity. Therefore, enough is the adjective of quantity. Adjective of number A word used with the noun to describe or point out the number of a person, place, or a thing is called an adjective of number. Look at the following sentences. There are many bananas in the basket. Many is an adjective here. It is used with the noun bananas to describe its number. Therefore, many is the adjective of number. I have three pencils. Three is an adjective here. It is used with the noun pencils to describe its number. Therefore, three is the adjective of number. All apples are rotten. All is an adjective here. It is used with the noun apples to describe its number. Therefore, all is the adjective of number. Degree of adjectives. There are three degrees of adjectives. Positive, for example, fast, great, old. Comparative, example, faster, greater. Older, superlative, example, fastest, greatest, oldest.
pair and the daughters. Once a hare and a tortoise lived in a jungle near the lake. One day, the hare said to the tortoise, You are so slow and you cannot run as fast as I can. The tortoise felt hurt and challenged the hare for a race. The hare willingly agreed. In a few minutes, he was out of the sight. He thought of taking rest as the weather was very pleasant. Soon he fell asleep. The tortoise was walking slowly but steadily. The hare woke up and said to himself, The poor tortoise is nowhere around. I would finish the race soon. The hare started running fast and reached the goal. But to his surprise, he saw that all the animals were already cheering the tortoise that had already reached the goal and won the race. The hare felt ashamed on losing the race. The Taj Mahal Shah Jahan was an emperor of the Mughal dynasty. He had a beautiful queen, Mumtaz Mahal, whom he loved very much. While at the deathbed, she made two requests to the emperor. One request she made was that he should not marry again after her death. The second request was to build a tomb in her memory so that her name was remembered forever. The emperor promised and accepted both the requests. After the death of his queen, the emperor Shah Jahan built the Taj Mahal on the banks of the river Yamuna in Agra. The Taj Mahal is one of the seven wonders of the world. Its architecture and landscape give grandeur and attract tourists from all parts of the world to visit India. The beauty of the Taj Mahal becomes more attractive and fascinating in the full moon night.
friends in a jungle John and Peter were two friends studying in class 4 in DPS Shalimar Park Peter was living with his grandmother and grandfather Peter used to go often to the nearby forest He invited his friend John to spend the summer vacations in his village Kangra Both of them were enjoying and having great fun One day both of them went out to the forest in search of strawberries they saw a wild bear moving towards them john was innocent and was taken aback he started trembling and started crying peter told john to lie down and hold his breath for some time the bear came closer and smelled both of them from the top to the bottom thinking that they were not alive the bear walked through the dense bushes and disappeared in the forest when the bear had left john heaved a sigh of relief peter consoled him they then ran towards the village and stopped only when they had reached the well of the village the women present near the well gave them water and took them home john still remembers that adventurous day and narrates his experience to his friends